Hello everybody and welcome to Surviving with Blood Magic. Let's have a wave, shall we? So, what I've been doing is I've added a few more mods into the pack. I've added Neat and emo emo Emotions, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, we have to get some Will. So what we need for that is a snare and to kill some mobs. Let's get started with that. So let's look for snare. And here we have the snare. We're going to make two sets of these. Probably need more. But we'll find out. So we've got two sets of snares. What we have to do is we have to snare something and it will produce some particle effects and then we have to kill it. So I'm, but I'm not 100% sure whether it's better to, to find the one that's not been snared at all and then kill that. Let's have a look. Have I got any water with me? No, I haven't. I'm just going to get two buckets of water from anywhere, I guess. I want to make an infant water supply down by the mob spawners. Now we need the snare because we need this demonic will and we need the demonic will. I think we need two things of this. One for the um, table, no not the table, the altar. And, and one, another one for something else, I've forgotten exactly which one it was. but. Yeah. So here's a mob spawner. What I've got to do is I've got to build this out a bit. Before I build it out, what I'm going to do is just let a few mobs spawn in here. We can just deal with those in our own time. <clears throat> so also, what have I got with me? Anything useful? <laughs> just a crafting table. Uh, not what I wanted, actually. Let's just mine a few bits of cobblestone out from here. Not sure why I've got this bit down here. Hmm. Anyway, I should get some more cobblestone. I should have brought some with me, but it's probably quicker to mine it up now. I don't have to go and collect those. So that should do. So I'm just going to block off this exit here. I've got three pieces left, so what I'm going to do with these three pieces, I'm going to mine up some coal. I wonder. And let's put the crafting table down here, like that, and then just make some. Where's that gone to? Oh, it's after. It's in my other hand, I didn't see it. So we can then basically put some slabs down. If we just put slabs in the right place, then the mobs won't spawn, uh, won't be able to get to me. Let's just break that one off. These very spawned very fast on me. Let's get that thing out of here. Like that. So hopefully that mob can see me. So what I've got to do now is I've got to snare him and then kill him. So we'll first of all we'll try snaring him with it. this one here like that. Okay, those are all there. So let's just try... I'm not sure which one to do. Let's just try this one. I think no right click him, we have to right click him and he's not particle it doing any particle effects yet. Sounds like coming from around but can't be back. You'll see that they you'll get a white particle effect when they're coming out. So I've used up a lot of those already, let's just get rid of some of these rocks. Fortunately I've got two axes from the like that. Maybe I can snare this guy. No, I don't look like I'm going to snare get anybody this time. Try again. No particle effects. That's a shame. <laughs> I've got to say, that's a shame. Let's try to light it up again, see if we can get uh, some stuff out of there. I need some torches of course let's put the torches down if I can that will at least reduce the spawning in fact it probably would be better to put it down at the bottom of it. but then we've got the problem with little small oh small zombies are going to be running anyway. around so let's see so I've got to basically just light it up again but let's get rid of this guy Right, I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a few seconds when I've got a bit 
better progress on this one. Let's put down another torch if I can just reach. It should be okay. Let's press F4. Yeah, this shouldn't be spawning anymore now. So I'm going to have to go and get some more snares. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back again with some more snares. Let's have a look if I can do better this time. There's a, there's a zombie. So let's see if we can get him. I've actually lit up there and he still spawned, but he still is not snaring for me. Just a second. Try again. If it doesn't succeed, try and try again. There he is. Now he's got the particle effects. Let's kill him. We should be able to kill him. And should be able to give him some demon will. There we got him. Now there should be some demon will in there. I hope. <laughs> Let's have a look. Unfortunately, I've got to make sure that the mobs aren't going to do the whole time. Yes, there we go. There's some demon will. So let's put a torch on top of that. So this is the demon will. This is what we need. And it's actually got quantity to 2.5. So everything you kill will like, add up into this. So let's go and safely put this. I was just going to do. Oh, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Let's just take the, the light levels a bit higher. I'm just going to dig a block out of here. Put a block in here. Um, I think we just. I think just a slab will do. Let's put a slab down here like that. And then the mobs can't get across it. And I can't for that matter, but that doesn't matter very much. So let's go and start and make our first altar. There are two things we need to... Yes, I do remember now what we need to do with the second one. What we need is a sword. Because, uh, well, of course we need a sword, but I mean there's a special sword we need for um, blood magic. In fact, I think there's actually three. So that's all. Here's one, the sacrificial dagger. That's a creative sacrificial dagger, which is really not what we want. But let's have a look. So we've got daggers. So we've got these three here. Dagger of sacrifice and then the sacrificial dagger. But there's also a sword as well. This is new as well. I haven't seen this one before. So this one here. And this is a sentinel sword. So this is the one that actually will effectively get the um, mobs dropped quite quickly and this needs a hellfire forge to do that with um, some will so basically you've got to have some demon will a sword and some a tartanic gem i think it's actually will make this one so we've got to get the tartanic gem which we can do easily enough with some redstone glass and some lapis gold and we've got to make that in a, a forge so that we can do this as well so we can do a block of iron so let's get these things made and there's also something else as we will need to do so now that was a couple of pieces of gold i think 19 iron will do because we need one block and some other bits so i think what was the other bit of a bit of glass and i can't remember top of my head we'll figure it out in a second when we come to do this so then we need the hellfire forge the recipe for that is this. So we can make a block of iron. Ah, it was stone, wasn't it? Stone. I should have made some stone. Yes, I've got 51 stone in here. So let's see if we can make the Hellfire Forge. I think we've got everything we need for that. Yes, we have. So we can make a Hellfire Forge. And then we can also make, let's look at the Sentinel Dagger. We need to do make this thing in the forge here so we need a tartanic gem so we need a piece of glass lapis and redstone gold i've got glass so i just need some lapis and some redstone and that should be able to make a tartanic gem so let's try that again so oh we have to make that in the forge okay so let's go and put the forge down and make one of these things now outside is safe enough so let's just put it outside for the time being like this so now we needed I think it doesn't matter which order things are but we needed lapis gold and glass I think and then it needs some demonic will in here and if I press the, click this into here like this we shall get some demonic will and that should make us a tartanic gem like this we've still got our will left over here but the quantity has gone down so it's 1.5 so now we need to make an iron sword and we should be able to make this this thing so let's see if we can do that first of all um i haven't done it this order before so this is new so i need to stick i think that's wool oh it's woods outside isn't it 
get some wood. And quickly craft up a sword. So I just need to get some sticks. Oops, dropped it. Now we need one iron sword. In fact, it does tell me. Let's come over here. So it said we needed a titanic gem and an iron sword. Where did that go to? Oh, it went into this side. And an iron sword and some demonic will should make us this. I'm not sure whether there's enough in here to do that job, but if it is, we've got it great, sentinel sword. Now that's very important. So we also need to make another titanic gem. Now this has still got the quantity in it, but I think we need more for this. Um Let's have a look at how much we have to need because it tells you in here. So here it tells you, oh, it, it does not, it doesn't drain any will, but this one does drain will. It needs one will to do this. So let's get some more gold to make another titanic gem. So what was it? Gold, glass, lapis, redstone. And we should be able to make one, one more of these. So I'll try that again. Gold, glass and lapis and then some demonic will on demonic will. So now we've got our titanic, pretty titanic gem and we've got 0.5 in here now. So that's what we need to do. Now we can go down and we can slay some more mobs and we can get another de a, another demonic will. So what I do need to do this to make the altar we need one of these demonic wills actually I've got enough, haven't I? I doesn't have to have any will in it. But let's make a look. Let's look at the altar. This one's what we need to make. So we need furnished stone, two pieces of gold. Okay, no big deal. Let's get that out. It does consume this demonic will, but since it's got nothing in it, it's great. So two pieces of gold. Stone furnace is what I need to make. So have a look, furnace. Have I got any? Yes, I've got plenty on me. Let's make a furnace. When I was doing my test world, I did this in the other, in the opposite direction. So now we should be able to make our first blood altar. Fantastic. Now with that blood altar, we also need something else. We need the sacrificial dagger. The sacrificial dagger. First of all, we also use this one here, the incense altar. But for that we need an orb, and I think the red one's the weak blood orb, which is the one we make first of all. That's not that's the one that's the hardest one to make. Let's try that again. Um, look at that like this. That's the weak blood orb. So that's just one diamond in an altar with two thousand LP, which is easy enough to get. So let's get the dagger out. So we need this dagger here, which is again. Just some iron, it's just some glass, gold and iron. Pretty straightforward really, let's do that one. I think it's one of each, wasn't it? Iron I've got with me and glass we need six pieces. Just take seven just in case. So we can then craft this up. No, we needed five. Okay, so now we've got the sacrificial dagger. So we can now put the altar down here. We need one diamond. And it's good to have some good food with me. I've got fish, cooked fish, which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So let's now. Why did I put the altar? Put it down yet? Let's put it, the altar down here. It's not the permanent place by any means. So now we have to basically cut ourselves. <laughs> but did I make the altar? Uh, the incense? I I didn't. I need the blood orb for that, don't I? So we need two thousand LP. So let's just start cutting ourselves a little bit. The right clicking the sacrificial dagger will start putting blood in there. I have to be careful not to do that, of course. And then we go down to about what half a heart will be fine. And then we can eat. Now, 2000 is probably not enough at the moment. You can see on the on the one probe display you see the blood altar at the bottom and that was one of the blood altar add-ons that shows you that by the way let's see it again and then we just try it again so we need the diamond i've got the diamond on me yes 
uh, when you put this in it's because it takes 10,000 so it doesn't look like it's got enough but it's also got tanks in there so that the tanks will um, get need to be filled up first of all so at the moment we've got this so once we've got this sword, which I haven't said much, the Sentinel Sword, it actually does take damage. But the more will you've got on, on yourself here, demonic will, which will be stored into here, the better this becomes. Now while that's, yes I'm healed up now, let's just eat, yeah let's just eat a bit more. And then we can start stabbing ourselves again. You're doing this quite a lot at the beginning of the game. But fairly soon onwards, we, oops, <laughs> I just killed myself. That was very smart. <laughs> right, pick up the stuff I've got. And I've got a bit of lag at the moment. I have to wait a second. <laughs> but I don't need to eat, so there's that one side of things. Um, of course, the sword, uh, this has been repaired because it's been in my th offhand hand like this. Let's put my protection back on again. In fact, there is something else I would like to make while I'm doing this now. <laughs> that was careless, wasn't it? It wasn't paying attention, talking too much. We've got a coat of arms. Now this thing here. What this does, oh, we need a, a blank slate. Now to make a blank slate, it's one piece of stone with 1,000 LP, so we can do that. But we also need a, a, a tunic, so let's just get some leather out of... I think I've got leather somewhere but it might be outside now here we are so I need eight pieces of leather to make a leather tunic so let's do that so we got one of those right I think there's probably enough in here now to actually put the diamond in because it looks as though it's just about underneath half of this Let's put the diamond in here and get our weak blood orb. That's sort of like number one task to do. And just in case it's not going to work, I've also got some a death marker on here. I'll put that away safely for no particular use, I suspect. Let's have a look at the altar. You can see it's going down. But I think it's going to I think it's got enough in there. To actually do this and I think it's also got enough in here to make the next the coat of arms well she'll see it takes a few seconds and of course what you can do later on is we upgrade this we can get things can go faster in fact while well, that's doing that I'm I'm standing here hoping that I don't have to put any more blood into the altar um, the next thing we have to do after this is one thing that we should there we go and we, now we've got our weak blood orb we have to use an empty hand to take it out of the altar and we've got this room so it's not stored it stores raw life essence so i now have to right click them and take a half heart of damage or one one heart of damage so this has then got it is now owned by me so then i can start using this for crafting recipes and also for storing LP. So the next thing we want to do, I think this has got more than enough to do one slate. So let's make a slate. Put this into here like that. And just wait a few seconds. Just in case I need to stab myself again. There we go. So we've got our first slate. Actually, I've made pretty good progress considering It's actually been quite a long time since I've played Blood Magic. Last time I played Blood Magic was in uh, Running Red. That's a great series, by the way. I really enjoyed playing that one. So what do I need? A bucket, empty bucket, which I haven't got. Um, and some gla more glass. So we need two more pieces of glass and an empty bucket. So we'll, we'll make an empty bucket because we've got enough there. And we need two more of these. I, th I don't think I get my bucket back again, so that's why I'm making another one. If I do, then I do, and it's fine. So there's our empty bucket. So now I should be able to craft this like this. Now the coat of arms, if you look at it, it tells you it doesn't tell you much about it at the moment. But what we do is we can put it on. 
and this is supposed to st stores stored LP is zero and I've got a feeling this will help later on so what we're going to leave it on for the time being and now we're going to go and grind a few more mobs and at the moment this has got an attack damage of four in fact you can see this I added in this mod which is a visualization mod so it says it's got 520 durability so it shows you the durability of the things I've got on here it doesn't unfortunately show the attack damage so I'll turn it off again down here because this this area is lit up I should I still oh, of course because I've got a slab down there <laughs> Get that because this is lit up there won't be so many mobs spawning let's just remove that torch but I think he can still spawn a few mobs because he was doing last time I was standing here and somewhere at the back or behind it there must be a oh I know I've done wrong let's try that again because I didn't have this torch on before let's put the other torch down Here, I want to put it and then break that torch, and then we'll just come out of the way here. There seem to be some funny light level things going on there, I'm not quite sure what. Let's turn it off, I just don't need the light levels on at the moment, we can see perfectly well. And let's just wait a few seconds, and hopefully, we'll get a mob spawning. So, as you can see, this has got oh, actually. One, one attack damage so it's not a very effective weapon at the moment um, he wants to have a trapdoor there don't you let's give him a hit I can go reach him and as I'm doing this the demonic will in this titanic gem where it's gone to will have increased so it's now one and this will also have increased so the attack damage is now six so it's increased the attack damage That's, did I read that wrong last time we did. Anyway, what I'm going to do with this is to make this into a mob spawner. And I think I'll do that now. And I'll see you in a short while when it's completed. So, right, this area is prepared now. <clears throat> As you can see, what I've got is a. It's actually a, a 9 by 9 So, from here outward, you go 4. And I'm running water down here. It's going to push the mobs into this position here, which we can then kill them. But obviously I've got to put some water down on this side before we do that. So let's just um, get the water ready for that. I'm just thinking about how I'm going to place this one. So I'll figure it out. I think probably can do it from above, can't we? So let's just break that. I made a whole load of our um, picks and they all sort of been used up now. So let's put some water down. I'm going to get some more water. It's hard. It's going to be hard to get through here <laughs> once I've done all of this. So and there was some iron in there so let's now where's the water I put it down here I made a water source so let's just get some water out here we need nine let's try again we'll need nine nine buckets of water to fill all this up so then we can put one down here and the next one down let's do it on this corner over here so it pushes us back again so we've got to go through this door and to get everything back again of course uh, I'm holding down I'm just walking through. Now mobs can't do this, which is actually good. I need another couple of these. There are some mob sounds that I've been hearing when I'm working here. There's a spider. I'm not sure where they are, to be honest with you, but uh, we shall find out. So it's just a challenge to put all the water down now. Do I press shift? Does it help? Not really. Let's put that one down there and then walk towards this one but definitely walking against the flow is hard work <laughs> as I get through here I should be able to pick up some I just wonder whether those will actually ever reach these torches I've got some of the corners that doesn't matter if it does we can always put them up one level so now I think I've got not too many more to do As you can see, it's pushing the stuff over there. 
so that's one more and then there should be one more here so we just need two more buckets of water and then we've got sufficient for that and that should then fill it up and all we have to do then is to remove the torches now that's actually easy we just need to break the blocks As you can see, we just got those two two positions to fill in. So it's just, and it's exactly right. You see, one is for this corner here, and the other one is in the middle. Um, how can I put the middle one down here? Oops, no. Try again. Oh, that looks like it. Yep, yeah, that's it. So we now we can get out of here. As soon as I get out, I'll put down a, a block so that this will stop remove the flow right good so all I've got to do now is remove the torches huh, maybe I should have done that to start with um, how am I going to get rid of that torch there I've got there's two choices I can go from the top which is one thing or I can break this and go and knock it off first of all I should be able to knock this off without too much of a problem I'm only going to use a bucket to knock it off there we go and the other ones we can dock off with um, a different way. We can just drill a hole in the wall and take knock the torch out. And the torch will then flow into that space that we've got there. There's no mobs. Right, got it. So we just need to put down the block here. So as soon as I do that, this should, no mobs should start to spawn again. This will actually light up a little bit of the area, but I'm not too bothered about that. But there should be one above here. Let's just move this one here. There should be one on there. Yep, you can see the torch got dropped off. Um, I'll be on the safe side. I'll put some um, blocks back into here. Leave just a spy hole. Nothing's going to come out of that, I'm sure. The next one will be here because I put the torch exactly opposite the hole here, and you can see. That'll knocked off the next torch. And these ones are where we're going to be putting um, later on. See, we've got, already got some mobs coming out of here. They'll be forced into this gap here. They've got no choice. The water is quite a powerful. It even picked up the torch from it. It's very nice of him. So now we can simply use the sword of him. Um, and as we, as I kill these mobs, 70%, as I said before, the will is going to be increasing in this, so it's now got two wills. So each mob we're going to kill is going to give us two more things. Let's just get rid of that torch, we don't need that one up there, do we? So what I'm going to do down here is I put a hopper in this spot here, so maybe we get some gold armor, which we don't need. Now the next thing after we've, we've done this, like that, not sure how to get this out. <laughs> I was going to remove that torch as well. Maybe I'll leave that torch in for the time being. That'll be above here like this. I'll remove the last of the torches, I guess. So if I then... Yeah, that's removed the last of the torches. And as we're doing this, this, this weapon will be improving. Because now we should have four will in four will in here and this is still attack damage of six and this one dropped a potato too which is actually rather good so what I want to do now is to get this these bits and pieces down here Let's just drop into that and pick up the bits and then drop out again and then come back safely and put down that just in time as it happens and carry on now that there is another reason for doing this other mobs won't be able to spawn here, I don't think. But maybe I want to take this down one more block here and put in another water source. So that the mobs will fall and go out through there. So I've got the water source here, so I just put it oops. He just hit me. <laughs> Thank you. Revenge. Huh? And then he's gonna come out through here like this. You can see him just there. But I'm going to make sure that he's not going to come out out. So let's just make a little bit more of a protection here. I think. 
that will do. And I can take away this block. Like that. And then we can start to kill them from this side. And as that does that, you're starting to get XP, of course. And I can then remove this block here as well, so then they will be able to come through here and get a bit nearer, so I can attack them from the top. Like that. And then what I can also do is I can actually knock this bottom block out and these things will then drop down. But unfortunately, I've got blocks myself off a bit here. Oops. <laughs> Talking of the devil. Like that. So they're coming out now and they're going to drop into there. And any mobs come along here, I can then attack from this side. But of course, I do have to be a little bit careful because of because of baby because of babies. They will actually get through this hole. So the way I'm going to sort that out is I'm going to put another block just here, a slab. I think I've got some slabs on me. I have yes, like that. And then they can't get through here, but I can still attack these guys. I think. Maybe I can't. <laughs> now I need to get back up, of course, and I'm stuck because I've got too many things. I'm going to put another slab down here. Can I reach up there? Oh, yes. might have to put this a bit higher as well so that they can't get out of here because they, they are looking so they're jumping out possibly jumping out of here I don't think you can jump out now we'll see right good I think I can't get up there because I've, I've got not enough free spaces above my head let's just get rid of some space over here yeah Still the same problem. Yeah. So you, as you can see, we're getting a good supply of mobs. So the next thing we can do is we'll go and get that altar, and I'll be back in a few seconds with the altar. See you in a minute. Right. This is just about the end of the episode, I think. I don't know, over thirty minutes. So what I was going to do is bring the altar down, but then I've discovered I need to do something else. Let's have a quick look at blood magic. We need to make some runes. Um, and those basically require two blank slates and lots of stone uh, and the weak blood orbs fine so with that with these runes what we can then do is upgrade the altar and we need to upgrade the altar to level two so for that we need and as it happens we need four no eight runes um so let's have a look at the recipe for i'll show you the recipe for that but what we need to make was the dagger again the dagger of sacrifice that's why i haven't moved it this one so we need to put an iron sword in a uh, altar blood altar with 3000 LP but the altar needs to be tier 2 so I'm going to do that for the next time we'll prepare everything up get it already and then we also need to upgrade the altar so we need the ruins for that but we also need what would also be useful is the incense altar here so now that I can make already so let's craft that and before we go um, what was it? Just some stone and some cobblestone. I think I put the cobblestone away. And I'm not sure what else was needed. Oh, just a bit of charcoal. We got some charcoal. I'll be making charcoal in these, by the way. So I got those. That's the iron I picked up from when I was doing the preparing the mob thing. So one piece of charcoal should then allow us to produce this incense altar, like that. And with this. What this is going to do is it's going to make the sacrificial dagger very effective. So, but we need to do a little bit of preparation for that first of all. So, what I need to do here is to put the, the incense altar down, like I'll try again, like this, and then put around it some more dirt and with some crops. As you can see, the incense altar is here, and you can see my dagger here is now glowing. So that's one thing we get. I'm going to be doing. In fact, I should be able to use the incense also now but I've, and what it does is it takes me down to one bar of health if I right click this like this so I'm now one bar of health automatically and it's put some blood into the altar now it's put more blood in than it would normally have taken to do that so let's 
regenerate a little bit. <laughs> and while, it's, while, it's, while it's regenerating, so what I'm going to do next was that was one thing, and then the other thing we need to do. Actually, I haven't even looked at this either. Let's have a look. So now we've got four thousand LP stored in the coat of arms. I'm not sure where that comes from, to be honest with you. It certainly got. It certainly was being increased by um, the mobs. So that as I was killing some mobs, it was that was getting increased. It might be that's all it is actually. And then, so we need the incense altar, and the next thing we need was a division sig a divination signal. This signal sigil, which is this one. So we need in some alchemic array. We need to create an alchemic arcane ashes. Now to create those, we need the blood altar again with some uh, will, and we don't actually it doesn't use any will. So what we need is some gunpowder, redstone, bone meal, and um, some charcoal or coal. And I have got all that we need to do that. And I'm going to do that next time. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, I need to do some maintenance on my farm. So until next time, I wish you all the best. That's a wave. Bye for now. <laughs>